Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Diagnostic Laparoscopy General Introduction Patients that have an undiagnosed problem in the abdomen or pelvis may be asked to have a diagnostic laparoscopy. Diagnostic laparoscopy allows the healthcare provider to see inside the abdomen by using medical scopes attached to special video cameras. If your healthcare provider recommends a diagnostic laparoscopy for you, the decision whether or not to have this procedure is yours. This program will help you better understand the benefits and risks of diagnostic laparoscopy. It discusses when the procedure is needed and what to expect before, during, and after the procedure. What is it? A laparoscope is a medical scope inside a hollow, thin tube. The laparoscope is inserted inside the body through small incisions. It is connected to a high-intensity light and a camera so your healthcare provider can see structures inside your body. Certain problems of the abdomen cannot be fully diagnosed through physical examination, x-rays, and other radiological tests. Diagnostic laparoscopy allows your healthcare provider to look directly at the structures of the abdomen and pelvis. The remaining part of this section lists some structures in the abdomen and pelvis. Structures of the digestive system include the liver and gallbladder, the stomach and small intestines, the pancreas, the colon and appendix. Structures of the urinary system include the kidneys, the ureters, the urinary bladder. Structures of the female reproductive organs include the uterus, the fallopian tubes, the ovaries. When is it needed? Many medical conditions can require a diagnostic laparoscopy. The following are descriptions of some of these conditions. Your healthcare provider will tell you which one may apply to you. There are many causes of abdominal pain. Diagnostic laparoscopy can help to diagnose the cause of pain. Causes of abdominal pain include inflammation, scar tissue, adhesions. Other causes of abdominal pain include infection, internal bleeding, fluid accumulation, cancer. Sometimes you or your healthcare provider can feel a lump or mass in the abdomen. The mass may also be discovered by x-ray. Diagnostic laparoscopy is used to look directly at the mass and obtain a tissue sample for diagnosis. This is called a biopsy. Diagnostic laparoscopy can also be used to detect ectopic pregnancy, which is when the fertilized egg grows in the fallopian tube instead of the uterus. It can also detect endometriosis and other problems of the female reproductive organs. For these types of uses, it is also called gynecologic laparoscopy. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Before the procedure. Diagnostic laparoscopy is usually ordered after other diagnostic tests such as CT scan, MRI, or ultrasound are done. Before diagnostic laparoscopy, your healthcare provider usually orders routine blood tests and urine tests. In some cases, a chest x-ray or an electrocardiogram may be needed. Most diagnostic laparoscopies are performed in an outpatient setting which means you go home the same day the procedure is performed. You should not drink or eat for eight hours before diagnostic laparoscopy. You can shower the evening before your scheduled operation. Cleaning your belly button with soap, water, and a cotton swab is a good idea. If you take medications, discuss this with your health care provider. If you take a blood thinner or aspirin regularly, 
inform your health care provider prior to scheduling the operation. The effects of blood thinners need to be stopped before a laparoscopy to avoid excessive bleeding during the operation. Your health care provider will give you more specific instructions to prepare for diagnostic laparoscopy. Instructions differ based on the age and medical condition of the patient. The procedure. Diagnostic laparoscopy is most often performed under general anesthesia. It is sometimes done under local or regional anesthesia. If you know of any allergy you have to an anesthetic medicine, tell your health care provider. With general anesthesia, the patient is asleep and does not feel any pain. The procedure usually takes from a half hour to two hours. A catheter is inserted through the urethra into the bladder to empty it. The skin of the abdomen is cleansed and sterile drapes are applied. A small incision is made above or below the navel. A needle is inserted into the incision and a gas is injected into the abdominal cavity. The gas expands the abdominal cavity, making it bigger. This makes it safer for the healthcare provider to see and examine the body organs. The laparoscope is inserted and the organs are examined. If needed, Additional smaller incisions are made for instruments that allow your healthcare provider to move and hold body tissues and organs. When your healthcare provider is finished with the examination or the biopsy, the laparoscope is removed and the incisions are closed with sutures. The bandages are then applied. The smaller incisions may be closed with band-aids only. Risks and complications. Diagnostic laparoscopy is safe. But there are several possible risks and complications. These are unlikely, but they are possible. You need to know about them in case they happen. The risks and complications include those related to anesthesia and those related to any type of surgery. Risks of anesthesia include breathing problems, chipped teeth or cut lips, headache, nausea. Other risks of anesthesia include sore throat, vomiting, urinary retention. More serious complications of anesthesia can include temporary mental confusion, lung infections, stroke, heart attack, death. Your anesthesiologist will talk to you before your surgery about these risks. He or she will ask about any medicines you are currently taking. Some of the risks are seen in any type of surgery. These include 1. Infection, deep or at the skin level. Antibiotics are usually given as a precaution. 2. Bleeding in the abdominal cavity. 3. Skin scars that may be painful or unsightly. The following risks are related specifically to this surgery. Again, these are rare, but it is important to know about them. In rare cases, structures in the pelvis and abdomen may be injured during this procedure. This rare complication is more common if the patient has internal scars from previous surgeries. Rarely, the tubes connecting the kidneys to the bladder, as well as the bladder itself, become injured. If this does happen, another operation may be necessary. In rare situations, the intestines and blood vessels could be affected, necessitating another operation. This may mean an immediate operation with a larger incision. Rarely, small nerves in the pelvis may be injured, resulting in decreased sensation in the sexual organs. After the procedure After diagnostic laparoscopy, you will be taken to a recovery area for a few hours. You will be monitored closely until the sedatives and anesthetics have worn off. Since you will feel drowsy after anesthesia, you should have somebody drive you home after the procedure. This is especially true if general anesthesia is used. Expect some soreness and pain around the incision sites. This is normal. You may need to take pain medication. The pain will go away in a few days and get better every day. You may experience shoulder pain for a few days, which is also normal. The gas may irritate the diaphragm, the big muscle that separates the lungs from the abdomen. The diaphragm shares some of the same nerves as the shoulder. 
you may experience an increased urge to urinate since the gas can put pressure on the bladder. Avoid lifting or bending until your incisions heal. Your healthcare provider will tell you how long it will take before your incisions are completely healed and when you can go back to work. This depends on your age, type of work, medical condition, and other factors. You should call your doctor if you develop any of the following. Fever, chills, or vomiting. Drainage from the incision or increased redness at the incision site. Severe pain that cannot be controlled by medication. Inability to urinate or severe leg pain. Other unusual symptoms. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Diagnostic laparoscopy allows your healthcare provider to look directly at the structures of the abdomen and pelvis. Certain problems of the abdomen cannot be fully diagnosed through physical examination, x-rays, and other radiological tests. A laparoscope is a medical scope inside a hollow, thin tube. The laparoscope is inserted inside the body through small incisions. It is connected to a high-intensity light and a camera so your healthcare provider can see structures inside your body. Many medical conditions can require a diagnostic laparoscopy. Diagnostic laparoscopy can help to diagnose the cause of abdominal pain. Diagnostic laparoscopy can also be used to detect ectopic pregnancy. Diagnostic laparoscopy is a safe and successful procedure. Complications are rare, but they may occur. Knowing about them may help you detect them early so they can be promptly treated in case they happen. Thank you for using Explain.